And this last one I'm going to show you is called a stacked phase. It's a bunch of stacked extrusions. So I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to start on the YZ plane. I'm going to draw myself a circle. And this could be a square or other shapes, but I'm going to do circles because I feel like circles make the most sense for vases or vases. And I'm going to dimension the circle to be two inches in diameter. And I'm going to extrude the shape upwards one inch. I'm also going to add a new feature, a new attribute to this extrusion under advanced properties. I'm going to add a negative five degree taper. Mm, let's do negative five degree taper. Now I'm going to start a sketch on top of here. And I'm merely going to project geometry. Start a sketch. And I'm going to extrude. But this time, instead of going straight up, or I'm going to go positive uh, seven degree taper. And if I start a sketch on top of here, I can do the same thing again, where I project geometry, finish sketch, extrude, and then you can just hit the E key for extrude. I'm going to go negative 15. And I'm going to start a sketch, hit S for sketch, select the surface, project geometry, E for extrude. I'm going to go negative three degrees outwards, or three degrees outwards. And I'm going to do one more. Extrude, project geometry, E for extrude, and I'm going to go negative 15. And it gives me kind of neat shapes, but it looks like a kind of stacked pillar. As usual, I'm going to shell this out. M point five mm. So that is a stack style box. Of course, we different shapes. We could do different tools, but this gives a nice shape.